Hello guys, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to another video. So in this one, we're going to look at how we can create a tiling and an offsetting function for our material instances. Here, as you can see, I'm able to play with these parameters here and offset and tile my material instance on this object here. So let's delete these and start from scratch so you guys are able to see how it's done so here just i uh, create a material name it m underline mat or whatever you like and open it up let's just add a texture for the sake of the tutorial so here i'm going to hit ctrl p to open up all my assets set my filters on texture and here search for for example brick and drag this brick clay old d to your material graph let's plug it in and now we are good to go all right now let's assign it to our cube and see how it looks yeah it's looking like this and now we want to be able to tile and pan the texture on top of this object here you may already know that there is a node called texture coordinate that gives you the ability to play with the u tiling and v tiling for example you can set it on five and five and here you can see that the tiling is happening but the thing here is that you cannot turn it into a parameter so when you create a material instance of your master material let's name it mi brick you are not able to see the u and v parameters here so you cannot play with your tiling in your material instance in order to fix this all you need to do is to add some math functions here and then you'll be able to have that in your material instance so first of all let's set it back on one and one and now we are good to go the first thing we need is a scalar parameter so hold s on your keyboard and left click here and name it u tiling do it again and this time name it v tiling then we need to multiply these values to our texture coordinates so here drag off a wire search for multiply and add it to your material graph and then we need to append these two values here so they work side by side so drag off a wire search for append we want to use append vector so click append vector and now you're good to go just plug this in and now we are able to see these parameters here in our material instance so just hit save and now you can see that we have these tilings here first of all let's keep the default values on one so it works properly and now you are able to for example put these on five and create a tiling in your material instance here as you can see i can just sign it to the object and play with the tiling in my material instance all right the next thing we want to do is to create a panning mechanism as well so here in the master material we need to add two more scalar parameters so again hold s left click and name this u offset do it again and name this one v offset v 
we need to append them again so search for append vector plug them in make an add node here plug this to the b input and there you go that's all you need to do to add an offset mechanism as well so here just hit save and here in your material instance you can see that these u offset and v offset values appear and you're able to pan your texture if you want to make these appear in order you need to go back and play with these sort priority values so for u tiling and v tiling let's set this on one and for u offset and v offset set it on two now you can see that they are sorted in order first you have u tiling v tiling and next you have u offset and v offset and as you can see it's working perfectly Another thing I want to mention is that you can use this system for your other textures as well. For example, if you have a texture for your metallic specular roughness or anything else, you can plug this to the UV values and it will work fine. You can also here make them a little cleaner, like something like this and select them all hit C to create a comment and name it tiling and panning yeah that's it guys for this video and I hope you learned something new from this tutorial if you enjoyed this please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel peace out